Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna do something a bit different. This is a training that I originally did a couple weeks ago on a guy named Chase Diamond. He has a, a YouTube channel as well and he interviewed me and I went over this training, but I wanted to, to film this for my channel as well and also dive a little deeper into the different pages of this training here. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna just run through these slides with you and I'm gonna talk about how to get more customers and clients with a paid email challenge. Now, what is a paid email challenge or I call it PEC for short. It is a low ticket course or challenge under $100 that's delivered via email. So exactly what it sounds like. And it solves one specific problem for a specific type of person and it helps people get a quick win, right? Really important that you're helping people get a quick win. You're not trying to help people build a big six figure business. You're not trying to help people lose 100 pounds. You're trying to get them a very quick win with this paid email challenge. So we'll talk about what that looks like in a second with some examples, but why would you wanna use a PEC? Well, first, super easy and quick to make. Doesn't take very long. I think it took me a few hours, um, like seven or eight hours to make the first iteration of the challenge. And I was able to launch it the next day. So it didn't take me very long to create it all. It's not like I've written eBooks as well, which have taken me months to do. You can create a paid email challenge really quickly. The second thing is, you're gonna build your list with customers. And this is a huge one right here. So you're building your list with customers and not freebie seekers. So a lot of people like to just run lead generation campaigns where they're just giving away something for free and they're getting people to join their email list in exchange for getting that free thing. What we're doing here is we're building a list of customers, which is important if you wanna to start to sell them other products and services that you have. So that's the second thing. You're building a list of customers and not freebie seekers. And customers are way more valuable obviously, than freebie seekers. The third thing is very versatile. So you can use this for virtually any industry, niche, or business. Doesn't really matter what you're in, doesn't need to be in make money, it could be like in fitness, it could be in food, in food prep. I've seen people doing this for creating like food plans and diet plans. It can be for, I've seen someone do this in the software in industry on helping them use their software. So this can be used in virtually any industry, niche, or business. It's not, only tied to just make money online. The fourth thing is customers love this. My challenge, my email challenge, the super fast sales email challenge is my most loved product and people love it because it's simple to do and simple to get a result with. And that's very important because in the info product world, a lot of customers don't get results because they don't go through the product. They don't consume the product. When you have something that gets people a quick win and is simple to do, people actually go through and do it and they end up loving it because they're able to get a result with it. So uh, this is really good for, once you make a customer happy, they're gonna wanna buy your other mid to higher ticket offers. And the last thing is it makes people excited for your next thing, right? It makes people excited for your medium price and your higher ticket price stuff. So by the time that they're talking to you, it's an easy yes. People will go through my challenge, my super fast sales email challenge, and they ask after it's done, after seven days, what do you have, what other products do you have that I can buy that will help me with the next thing? So they're more so asking me what they can buy. I have to do very little selling, even on my higher ticket priced, uh, my higher ticket stuff. Now here are my results over the past 12 months. I launched my super fast sales email challenge in August of 2020. And since then from August, 2020 to August, 2021, there was 892 customers that purchased the challenge. 10% of those people so far have joined my high ticket course. So I have a course called the email side hustle and 10% of the people, uh, this 892 customers have joined that higher ticket course and 88 out of the 104 members in my email side hustle program had my paid email challenge, right? So that's, that's amazing, right? I'm very happy with these numbers. 10% of these people joined my higher ticket course. But if I looked at the, the students in my course, my higher ticket course, 88 out of 104 members had already bought my paid email challenge, right? That's a huge percentage. I only spent around 5,000 total in ads to get these customers. The rest was through organic marketing. And this generated over $240,000 in revenue. So this is 12 months of running this challenge. It's, it was fairly passive after I launched it, other than just I'm creating content and talking about it in some of my content, but very little spent on ads over a 12 month period and super high conversion rates for my other offers that I have. So this is the PEC funnel, the paid email challenge funnel. And this is important that you have this in place because if you're just selling 
a paid email challenge on its own, you know, that's, it could still be okay. But if you don't have a mid ticket and high ticket offer on the back end, then you don't expect to make a ton of money, right? Because that's where the money comes in is through the, your back end offers here. So a low ticket, your, your low ticket offer in the PEC funnel is just your paid email challenge, right? The paid email challenge that gets people a quick win. So that's the first offer that people see. Now, after that, those, there's a post-purchase upsell that helps people with the next challenge that they have. So there's a mid-ticket offer, and this is mine are usually priced in the two to three hundred dollar range. And then we have something that is high ticket on the back end of that. And what we usually do here is this could be coaching, it could be a course, it could be consulting, it could even be a service. So all you're doing here is you're making an invitation to get more support or coaching or like a fully done for you service if you're running an agency or something, or you're a freelancer. So somebody buys the low ticket paid email challenge that gets them a quick win. There is a post purchase upsell after they buy that that helps them with the next challenge. I'll show you what that looks like for my funnel here. And then there's a higher ticket offer where there's an invitation to get more support or coaching or a done for you service. So here's what it looks like for my main PEC funnel here. I have a few different or a couple different paid email challenges, but this is the main one that's doing the best. So there's a super fast sales email challenge, which is about how to write your first email in seven days, right? Really simple, quick win. At the end of seven days, you're gonna have your first email that sells and you can send that out to your list if you're selling your own products or you can send it out or you can use it to send out for a client, right? If you're working with clients. So that's the first one, write your first email in seven days. It's not build a six figure business. It's not write a hundred emails. It's just write your first email in seven days, right? Really simple and a quick win. The second mid ticket offer is the super fast sequences course. So now the thing is once you've written your first email, what do you wanna do then? Well, I wanna learn how to write a sequence, right? I wanna learn how to write multiple different emails. So in the super fast sequences course, it teaches you how to write a few different email sequences and then you can go off and sell these for clients. So that's the mid ticket offer. Somebody buys a super fast sales email challenge. They're presented a mid ticket offer, which is the super fast sequences, which solves the next problem or the next challenge. And then after that, there's a higher ticket offering here, which is a course plus coaching called email side hustle. And this helps you to get clients to write emails for. So look at this funnel here, right? It's, it's step by step, next problem to the next problem. First, you're gonna learn to write your first email that sells in seven days. Oh, now I wanna learn how to write a sequence. That's when the super fast sequences course comes in. Oh, now I wanna learn how to get clients and get paid to write for clients, to take these skills that I learned in the challenge and the sequences course and learn how to get clients around that. And that's where the email side hustle program comes in. Okay, so very simple funnel. We get that low ticket paid email challenge under hundred bucks. We have this mid ticket offer, super fast sequences that helps them with the next problem in the two to $300 range. And then we have this, which is in the 1K to 2K plus range. So how do you go out and create and sell your own PEC, your own paid email challenge? Here are the steps here. You can go and do this tomorrow if you really want to. I highly doubt a lot of you are gonna go through and do this, but if you, the, the one person that does do this is going to see great results. So first, you're gonna pick one problem and you're gonna figure out a quick win that you wanna help people get. So the ideal timeline is seven days or less. I've seen people doing like 30 day or 60 day challenges and that's just too long. People are gonna fall off. They're not gonna complete the challenge because it's too long. You wanna keep it short enough where they can have momentum throughout the challenge and actually complete it. So seven days I have found is ideal. I've tried 14 days before and seven days works way better for consumption and getting people to complete the challenge, which is really, really important. So after you've picked one problem and a quick win that you're gonna help people get, that's ideally seven days or less, you're gonna create each day of the challenge. And what I recommend you do is just take out a Google doc and just type out each day of the challenge in that Google doc. That's exactly what I did. So to do that, to create each day of the challenge, you're gonna use a framework that I call LBO. And LBO stands for lesson, bridge, and one thing. So the lesson is self-explanatory. You're just gonna teach the lesson. Every day should have a specific lesson that you're teaching. And so you're gonna teach the lesson in the first part of the email or of the, of the each day of the challenge. And then you're gonna bridge it to something the person understands, right? So most people will stop here. They think that you just have to teach and that's it. We need to make sure that the person understands the lesson. And it's hard to understand new comp, uh, concepts and, and new things without comparing it to something they already understand. So that's where the bridge comes in. You're gonna use a story, analogy, or a metaphor that makes the lesson easy to process. So if you don't use this part, this is a really important part because if you don't use that, 
you're not gonna create that aha moment, right? Someone's gonna read the lesson and be like, I don't really get this. I don't understand. It's very complex for me to understand. So we wanna use the bridge to compare it to something they already understand. And then you're gonna, you're gonna end with a one thing at, at the end of each day of the challenge. So one action item that the person should do each day to get the result of that day. And at the end of the PEC, you wanna have an email, if you have a mid-ticket or high-ticket offer, you wanna have an email that invites them to the next step. So I, on day eight, I have a seven day challenge. On day eight, I invite them to the next step. And that could be either your mid-ticket or your high-ticket offer. So an example of what I say in mine is, hey, I'm so grateful that you chose to go through this challenge. Now you have this skill for yourself that you can do over and over again. Now you know how to write an email that sells. The next problem or the next challenge that people have or the next question that people have after writing their first email is how do I write a sequence or how do I get my first client? And we help people do that in our email side hustle program or a super fast sequences course, whatever I'm promoting in this next step here. Sometimes I do both. Would you like some help with that? Respond back to this email and I can give you more details around that. So uh, it's important if you have a mid or high ticket offer that you want to sell more of that you have this invitation, right? Don't just say, thank you so much for going through the challenge and have a great day. Don't, don't end it there, right? If you want to continue working with the customer or give them the opportunity to continue continue working with you, invite them to the next step, whatever that is, okay? And this is gonna help you lead into your high or your mid to high ticket offers without having to sell very hard at all. Now, the third step, after you've created each day of the challenge, you're gonna create a simple checkout page and you're gonna upload the lessons to an automation in your ESP. So I use Active Campaign. they have an automation feature and all I do is I load up each day of the challenge. I'll show you what that looks like in the next slide day by day, spaced out by 24 hours. And so I use the simple checkout page. I use a software called Thrivecart. And again, that's gonna be in the next slide, but a simple checkout page is all you need. I didn't even have a sales page to start. I have one now, but I didn't have one when I first began. And then you're gonna upload the lessons into an automation or your ESP, whatever your ESP is, ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign, Clavio, just upload it into there into an automation that rolls out day by day. And the fourth thing, is start selling it, right? This is gonna be a lot easier if you have an audience. If you don't have an audience, I'm sorry, you're gonna to have to start building one. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna to have to use paid advertising, which I didn't use much of to sell this challenge. So I used content on social media. My YouTube channel, I, I referenced it there. My Facebook group on Twitter, I talk about it as well. So I talked about it on social media. I use content to sell it every day. I also use email to sell my paid email challenge. And I used some paid ads in the beginning to sell it, but I found that it wasn't generating the results I was looking for. So I turned it off and I was still making a lot of sales and now it's 100% profit. So start selling it. It's gonna be a lot easier with an audience. Otherwise, you gotta start using paid advertising, which is out of scope for this training here. Now, what does this look like? What does the setup look like? Well, this is the right here. This is the original checkout page that I used and you can see it's nothing fancy, right? It just has like the contact information and the email address and on the next thing is the, is the payment here. And it has like a, the title of the challenge and yes, I wanna learn the money-making skill of writing emails that sell with this paid email challenge and a picture of the product here. So that is the simple checkout page. Don't overcomplicate this. This is what I started with. I didn't have a sales page or anything. The automation, this is what it looks like in active campaign. Okay, so you can see here, day one, the three W's you must know before, um, this is the name of the, the daily lesson here. Day two, how to write subject lines. Day three, how to write killer leads. And it's one day spaced apart. So this is what it looks like, and this is just a continuation, day five, day six, day seven, day eight. So this is what it looks like in active campaign, and it's gonna look like that probably in whatever software that you're using, and it's spaced out day by day. So this is a very simple setup all I did was take the Google Doc that I wrote the challenge lessons on and just upload it in, into this tool here. This is an example email lesson. So this is day one from the challenge and you can see here the lesson, the LBO format. Lesson, the three W's you must know before writing an email, who, why, and what. And then I go into the lesson here. And this is the bridge, right? I use an analogy in this case, but you can see analogy, the three W's equals GPS for your email. So it's like, oh, okay, I get it. It's like a GPS for knowing how to direct your, your emails, how to, where to go with your emails. And I, I use a little story here to illustrate that point. And then right here, I have the one thing, right? Complete your three W's. Get out a Google Doc post and a post-it note and write the following things on it. Your who, your why, and your what. And by doing this day one, this is the simple lesson here, they can go into day two with momentum, right? They wrote down their three W's and now they can bang out each lesson day by day and do their one thing. 
So this is what each lesson looks like for the seven to eight days. And if you sign up for the challenge, if you go to superfastsalesemail.com and you can sign up for the challenge and, and buy it for $49 and see these lessons for yourself. Uh, please don't copy my lessons, right? It's not gonna, people are gonna know and it's just not ethical. Don't just copy and paste my lessons if you're gonna create your own challenge. And this is what each lesson looks like here. Okay, so not very complicated at all. And this is the paid email challenge setup, right? The setup itself, checkout page, the upload into the autoresponder or the automation. And then each lesson, this is what it looks like within the email itself. Now, here's the thing. If you have a mid to high ticket offer and you get people a quick win with your PEC, it is so much easier to sell your mid to high ticket offers because now you've gotten them a quick win, a quick result. Now they trust you and now they're excited to continue working with you. That is the power of a paid email challenge. And if you want them to work with you, all you have to do is thank them for being a customer, tell them about the next challenge or the next problem or question that people have after going through the challenge, and then invite them to join you in tackling that next problem together. Right, so like I said, thank you so much for being a customer of the Super Fast Sales Email Challenge. I'm so happy that you now know how to write an email that sells and you now have this skill that can make you a lot of money if you continue getting better at it and you, and you apply it. The next challenge that people have is now they wonder how they get their first client and their first few clients paying $1,000 to $5,000 a month to write these emails for. And we're helping people do that in the Email Side Hustle program. Would you like to know how you can join us and start getting your first clients to write emails for? Right, so all I'm doing there, there's no crazy copywriting, there's no crazy selling there, I'm just inviting them to the next step. And that's all you have to do. So I love paid email challenges. Again, here's the results from 12 months, 892 customers, 10% of those people joined my higher ticket course, which I just launched in April of this year. 88 out of those 104 members that we have so far had my paid email challenge, only spent 5,000 total on ads, and generated $240,000 in sales revenue based off of the offers that people have bought the mid and high ticket offers that people have bought through this challenge. So this is how to get more customers and clients with a paid email challenge. Hopefully you go out and create your paid email challenge and start making more money and getting customers and clients with one yourself. If you guys enjoyed this and you got value out of it, give it a like, comment below any questions that you have about paid email challenges and let me know if you're gonna create your own. And also, if you want to get my paid email challenge, go to superfastsalesemail.com. That's gonna take you to the sales page for the super fast sales email challenge and you can see live what that looks like. You can see the sales page, the checkout page and see the actual lessons rolling out to your inbox. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.